This video is going to demonstrate how to create an account filter record in order to assign the filter to a new or existing user account. An account filter controls what financial accounts a user can read, create, update, delete, and process transactions against on the system. Each user may be assigned an account filter via the user option in the admin menu. So the account filters option is similar to USA Securities account filter section in classic USAS. So in order to create an account filter, I'm going to go up to admin and click on account filters. And on my grid right now, I don't have any existing account filters out here. So in order to create one, I click on create. And I'm going to enter in the filter name. It's for high school secretaries. So at this point, then, I'm going to go down to the plus sign to add an actual account. And what you're going to notice automatically is that it does assign an order number. So this is order number one. When order numbers are assigned, it's important to assign the more detailed accounts with a lower order number, and then the less detailed accounts a higher order number. In my example, I want to allow access to all budget accounts with an OPU of 003, except for the 100 and 200 object codes. Because I want to exclude certain dimensions, I want to make sure that they're entered first as order one and order two. So for my first entry, the TI is going to be 02, which stands for budget accounts. Um, your TI levels are 00 for cash. 01 for appropriation, 02 for budgets, and 03 for revenue. So I'm going to go ahead and put in 02. And then I'm going to tab over to the object code and put in my 100s that I want to exclude. So, and I can put in percent signs. Those serve as wildcards in USASR. And so at this point, when I look over at the access level, I don't want access to any 120 salary accounts. So I'm not going to check mark any of these. But if I did want to go and look at what each of these mean, I can hover over them. And C stands for create. R stands for read or view. U stands for update, meaning modify. D stands for deleting, the ability to delete the account. P is for pre-encumbrance, which means requisition level. And then E is for encumbrances, which is your purchase orders. So at this point, I don't want any access for my 100s. So I'm going to leave this alone and go down and do the same thing for my benefit accounts. And I'm going to skip the access level on those as well. I do want them, however, to have access to all 003 OPUs, which is the high school accounts, obviously, except for 100 and 200 levels. So again, put in 02, and then I'm going to tab over to the OPU and type in 03. And for this filter, I want them to be able to view these accounts. So I'm going to check mark read. And I want them to be able to process requisitions against these accounts. So I'm going to check mark P for pre-encumbrance. If I needed to change the order, I could use these up and down arrow keys to change the actual order number, but because I wanted the more specific to go first, it's in the right order at this point. So after I'm done entering my filters, I click on Save. And I can review this at this time. And you'll notice that um, what I entered in is exactly what they're going to see. So they will be restricted from any other accounts. So at this point, um, if the user tried to access any accounts with an OPU of 002, they wouldn't see them because they're excluded from those, just the 003. So at this point, if I needed to make any changes, I could click on the Edit button here, and it'll take me back in and make any updates. I'm finished, so I'm going to go ahead and X out of here. And the filter is now appearing on my grid. And if I wanted to view it again, I could click on the, on the eye icon, Edit, on the pencil, and if I wanted to delete this, I could click on the X. Um, in order to use this filter, then, I need to put it in an actual user um, account. In order to do that, I would have to go down to Admin, click on User, find that user account, and enter this high school secretary filter in that user account.